our business has changed a lot over the years. And the most dramatic change is the loss of our discount. We used to get 25% discount. Now we get somewhere around one to four. So we all have to find other ways to make money. Um, and fortunately, there are other ways. People have been personalizing their cars since the beginning of time. Even when I was young, people used to personalize their cars. I had a 36 Ford. I guess in my case, I was just trying to keep it running. But a lot of people had fuzzy dice that they hung on the rearview mirror, and they had fender skirts that they put on cars, and we had curb feelers. We had half moons on the headlights. We had full wheel covers or discs or whatever we called them. There were lots of things that people did to give uh, sort of their identity to their car. We had names for our car. Mine was Lizzie. I had a 36 Ford named Lizzie. Um, I still love that old car. I wish I hadn't let it go. Anyway, we have to do that today. We have to take, you know, be part of that personalization effort. You know, there's over $30 billion a year spent on that. $30 billion. We don't need it, but a little bit of that to make up for what we're losing on the margin on the car. It does take the whole dealership to be involved. You don't just hire somebody and give them a book and pictures of some accessories and whatnot and tell them to go out and sell it. Doesn't work that way. The parts department has to be on board and the service department has to be on board. It's a team effort because you need the part and you need it installed and you need a good result for the customer and you need it to be seamless and you need to make it easy for them to get what they want. And you know that, everybody knows that that's in business. But I, that's the one caveat that you need to be aware of if you go really big in the aftermarket business or personalization business. And that's that you have to have every department on board. Everybody has to be a part of the process. Everybody that's involved in that process has to agree to do it. They have to agree that it's important. They have to understand what's happening. They have to understand what their part is in the process, uh, why that's so important to the customer. After all, we're all about taking care of the customer. Everything we do, every process we have, has a customer in it. And it's all about the customer, is what happens from the time the customer gets to us to the time the customer's finished. If we do it all right, the customer leaves happy. If we make a mistake, well, we do that at our peril. It's so hard to keep a customer. Easy to lose one, hard to keep one. We all have to focus on that. You know, process for us is like plays for a football team. Everybody has to be on the same page and everybody has to execute all the time. So processes are critical just like plays are critical for the NFL. Everybody has to have their part, and every part is critical. Nobody can let up. So you have to have a good process, and you have to have buy-in from all the people that are in the process. If all of your people believe in what you're doing, that's why coaches make a difference, you know. If all your people believe in what you're doing, they will carry the ball the way you want them to do it and your customer will get a good experience, and because they get a good experience, they'll buy something from you. Maybe they'll come back and buy something else, and they'll send their friends, and that's how business grows. That's not rocket science, is it? We should have a more sophisticated way of saying that, but that's the truth. I'd have to be a pretty weak salesman if I couldn't convince my people that they wanted to be involved in this. I mean, people like these things. This is, this is putting a personal touch on a car. Well, and people, people still have an emotional attachment to their car. You know, their car, is, their car is a reflection of what they see themselves as. The car is me. I want to be taller, younger, and better looking when I get in a car. That's what I'm looking for. And everybody has something that they're looking for. So um, your people should be able to get excited over this. You try that. Um, you'll find they'll be interested in it. We all are. We all like cars. We all like the, the toys and the accessories that go on cars. That's why it's such a fun business. If you can't close your people on that, maybe you're in the wrong business. The reason we like Insignia, or I like Insignia, is because they make it easy for the salesman 
to present the product to the customer. And pictures are worth more than words. Pictures are everything. And the next best thing to have in the car sitting on the showroom floor with all the widgets and gidgets on it is this insignia program where they can tickle the keys on the computer and create the picture. Customers need to see that. It really is the difference between selling the stuff and letting the guy down the street get your business.